Hi guys, thank you so much for watching me. It is Sunday the 17th of July 2022, which means today is Tarot Day. Okay, now I know that I have a few people who watch this every week. So today I'm going to do it from scratch to show you how I get my cards, what I say to them beforehand, etc. Okay, so if you do want to double with this at home, there is a warning, okay? Please be aware that I'm doing a video later today and it's going to be called When Not to Connect with Your Angels and Spirit Guides, etc. Because there is a lot of negative energy out there at the moment coming through pretending to be a good entity, okay? Remember, the lies and the deceit is really coming out now, guys. Okay, so there are energies out there who are pretending to be your best friend. So be aware. So if you do want to go and watch it, it's going to be called When Not to Talk with Your Guides or Angels. It'll be something very similar to those words, okay? So today, what do I do before I get on here? Obviously, I have a shower. Today, I've washed my hair. Put on a nice warm shirt because it's cold and then I get myself prepped now when I prep myself I go outside in the Sun or I sit somewhere quiet and I just don't think I allow them to come in and to clear my thoughts and to give me any thoughts that I need for today's videos so I do that for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, okay? Then I go and use my singing bowl, my little omin singing bowl, and I om, om, om. So that raises up my vibration. <clears throat> I also may use my tinchy bells and other things that I've got around the house to help me raise up my vibrations also, okay? So when I talk to her, it's a lot more clearer. Just bear with me, guys. I've just got to blow my nose. Okay. It is very cold here in Brisbane, okay? Oh, okay. So when I communicate with her, and how do I know it is her? I always say this line first. I only give permission and consent to my lady and any other entities or beings who are working for my higher good under the white loving energies of the universe. If there are other energies or entities who wish to come through, please know you are not permitted. You have no right, no permission to come through with your malicious intent. I do not give you permission, so nick off right now. So it's only her and good loving angels that can come in. So when I talk to her, I just listen for what she has to say. It's not always me just saying, oh, can you please give me a card right now, what I need. It's where I pause and I allow her to talk. Then I have the free will of my own decision whether I listen to what was said and whether I act on what was said that's a big thing so I'm going to be talking about that in my video when not to talk to your guides or angels I'm going to do that later today okay so I take out my emotion I take out my ego and I allow her to talk when I do my tarot because I trust her I know how she talks etc okay so I put it into her ball court can you please tell me today which one oh okay straight away i'm getting my little lovey dovey cards so i'm going to do this live today guys so here's my little lovey dovey set okay and all i do is i knock three times to connect to them because i always do connect with my cards before i do any sort of tarot reading i sit there some days and i just play with them for hours okay all right so i've got a beautiful deck here today they're nice and warm in my hands so Let's get one card. Now, usually, ha ha ha, I usually say I need one card that represents what the whole world needs for this coming week. Today I'm going to change it. 
I'm going to say, please give me one card that represents those working towards their own higher good under the universal white loving energies of the world where we need one card for our specific conditions, situations, issues that can assist us for the next week, please. So now I just shuffle and I'll wait for a card to throw out. La -da -da. This could take 10 minutes. That's why I usually do this off air. Well, that one nearly went, but I won't take it because it came. <gasps> see now, look, see what's happened? One just flicked out. So let's have a look at this one. This is the one they want me to show. So let me just get rid of these guys first. Okay. Love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. Now, see what I'm talking about? I was talking about this. How to listen to our guides. How our paths work. Because that's what guides are. Okay. Love would trust in the angels to guide our pathway. And that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about when I do my next video today. Okay. So I'm going to leave that out. So I won't talk about that today as well. He's not going back in the deck. Okay. Now she wants me to do, oh, drum roll, please. She wants me to do my cards. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so to show you my caro deck, here it is. Look how thick this little sucker is. So here I am connecting because I'm touching each and every card. Okay, each and every card I'm connecting with. Love you so much. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Okay, and again, I ask the same question. I request, please, that you give me one card representative of all those working towards their greater good under the universal white loving energies. Can you please give me one card that gives us guidance or what will come in the next week for us, please? All right, so here we go again. We shuffle, 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 shuffle. And shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, did you see that? Now, I'm going to hold them up so you know that I'm not um, compromising this in any way or form. Where'd he go? Here he is. He's down here. Uh, here he is. One card fell out. Ooh. Oh, did you see that card? We got the devil. So, let me get rid of my deck. Put that over there with my little lovey dovey cards. Oh, this is going to be a cool one today. <laughs> okay, let me just find this in my deck first before I start analysing these cards. So it's in the major rain corner and it's number 15. <gasps> oh, God, this is going to be a good reading today. Okay, X, V, V, 1, X, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V. Okay, I've got the devil. There he is. So I've got the devil card. So I'm going to put my ruler in there. Because this is what I usually do every time I do my tarot, but you don't usually see this, right? So now I've got my little lovey dovey card and I've got this one. Now let's go. Oh, you want me to do the ruin now? Okay. So here's my ruin stones. Okay. Now the only thing I haven't got is my ruin. Okay. So I've got this. All right. So connect with the stones. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this work on your behalf. I give you so much gratitude. I give you so much thanks. I give you so much love. Please give me one stone representative of all those doing the good and right work under the universal white loving energies. One stone that represents what we all need to hear for the next 12, 12 days. Why did I just say 12? Huh. Seven days, please. Oh, I got him. Here's this big one. Oh, okay. Now, is it an, it came out as an upward arrow, but could it also be a downward arrow? I'm going to take it the way it came, upward arrow. Okay, so now I've got him. Let me get rid of my stones. Let me just find him in my book. We're looking for the arrow. Arrow, arrow. Here he is. Oh, he actually does go upwards. So there he is. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. So you know that's definitely him. And this one is called Tiwaz. And it's the spear. Okay, spear. So I'll read him out in a moment. 
So now that I've got him and I've got them all lined up here on my table, let's go and have a look at the beautiful Louise Benton range of cards this week. Let's see what I get from her range. So here's her website. The link is also below if you do want to go and buy a copy. Okay, so I'll show you. Her card deck is this thick long. Oh, has many. Yeah, it's got all these cards in it. Beautiful designs. She does all the artwork. And she actually writes all the words on the back. Okay, so as I'm doing that, I am connecting with the cards. I'm putting my energy into every single, like I've got my thumb here touching the back of every single card. So, again, I say, please, universal loving energies, please know that thank you so much for all the gifts that you have bestowed on me. Thank you so much. What I am looking for today is one card that represents what those who are working towards their higher self, those who want to be their best under the universal white loving energies, those who are striving to be what you want us to be. Please give us one card today of what we need for the next seven days. Any advice, any messages, and then I just shuffle them up. Thank you so much. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until one pops out because then it's not me making that pop out. Okay, here we go. I cannot wait to see what that devil card says in line with everything else that we've got today. Don't be fearful when we see a bad card like that, okay? We don't have to fear it. It's usually a good omen at the end of the day. The worse the card looks, the better it is. It's an opportunity to make our lives better, correct? Um, these are huge cards. See how I've got to shuffle them the other way? So it does take a little bit longer this way for one to just pop out. Come on, pop one out. Oh, I got three. Oh, I got three there. So I don't take three when three pop out. Just one, please. One card that. Oh, there it goes. Now I'm holding all these here. Here's the card that just popped out. All right. So keep him in the hand. Get rid of the others. Bingo. And here's the card. Oh, this is a new one. We've never had this one before. So. First was my little lovey-dovey card. Let's start the reading. Okay. Love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. Please watch my next video that I'm going to do, which is called When Not to Talk to Your Guides and Angels. Okay. Because there is a lot of deceit out there at this point. But when we trust in the true angels, when we listen to our true guides... And when we say to them, you know what, I believe in you and I am going to step up and obey what the messages are that I'm getting. And I am going to come through with those messages and do your work here on earth. That, dear ones, is the big lesson for today. I've been telling people for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, months and months maybe, if you're getting messages now where you think, I don't know, but I'm just getting all these signs that I should be going into Reiki, go and do it. If you're getting signs or messages or you're having dreams where you're massaging someone or you see a bus go past and there's a big sign on the back, massage courses now available, go and do it. Because those who are getting the messages, those that are listening and being aware of the messages, are the ones who will be doing it and being successful. If you're not getting the messages, don't despair. Don't judge or accuse or compare yourself to others because you may be already doing what they ultimately want us to be doing. If you work in a bank, hello, there's still going to be some sort of currency after all this heck hits the fan, okay? If you work in a bakery, great, you're feeding people. So you're already on that life path, so you don't need new messages, correct? So don't worry if you're not receiving the messages. But love would trust in the angels. So trust that you're already on your path. You say, I'm not receiving messages because I just don't need them. That's what we've got to say, okay? 
So, let me wipe my eyes, let me blow my nose again because we're about to go to the devil card. Okay, hang on guys. My goodness, it is freezing here this morning. Okay, the devil, I'll be good to you. See how I just put good energy into it? That's what we do. You don't just say, and get fearful because that's the energy he wants. So you sing at him and you say, I love you so much. Okay, remember, I asked for cards that only those on the right side of the fence, the messages today, okay? Let's read the devil card. The devil's presence quite often appears when a situation is dragging you down and you feel helpless to change it. How many emails am I getting right now where people say, I can't handle this anymore, I feel like giving up. Bingo! Keep going is the message, okay? It can show a form of enslavement. <laughs> Aren't we all going back into isolation? We've got to wear our masks again? Yay! That's if you do it, by the way. Okay, it can show a form of enslavement, whether to an ideal or an addiction or even a manipulative or controlling relationship. Now, relationships don't always have to be our partner and ourselves. It's a relationship you have with your pets, your neighbours, your co-workers, even the relationship I have with my pen because I use it and I appreciate it while it's got ink in it. And when the ink runs out, you may be able to put more ink in there so you sustain its life for longer. So it's still a relationship. Look at the relationship now that we're having with government. How's the respect going for you? Seriously. Okay, let's have a look. Overindulgence tends to result in upset, greed or lust that can become self-destructive. Overspending is a typical example. Now, I've been saying it for weeks. Keep your money tight. Don't go and do any frivolous type of shopping. We don't need new bags or shoes. We don't need that new car or boat. We don't need to go and upgrade our house. Because if what I'm seeing is coming true, houses are going to go down by like 900%. Houses may go down to being $50,000. Because there'll be so much supply of it. You know, we look at the UK, they've just come out this week. They're staggering, they don't know what to do. They're having 500,000 new cases of COVID every week. And the big staggering thing that the doctors are all scrambling with, 57 people every day, or was it 67? Every week in the UK, right now, 1,300, 1,000 300 people more than normal are dying every week so you know you look at the deaths 2020 where it was already up so those figures are already in that average that five-year average that they're using here so how come 1300 people just in the UK I would hate to think the stats for other countries like China and the USA. How many people are dying now all over the planet? Wonder what that could be from. So what we're going to find, guys, there's going to be a whole big supply of physical possessions. Because all these people now can't buy food, they can't buy clothes, they can't buy new cars or boats, they can't go on plane trips, they can't live in their house anymore. Think about it. Okay? So keep your money, because we're going to need food. Stock up on food. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, however, the important message is that in it is self-enslavement. By taking control of this behavior, 
We are released from it and are free to walk away. So when they tell me I've got to wear a mask to go into my shopping centre, guess what I say? I have free will. I am making that decision for myself and I am not going to allow someone else to tell me what's in my best interest for my own health. We take that power because when we take our power... Now, isn't it funny that today I've asked for cards for those on the right side of the fence here, okay? Because there's a lot of this now coming out. There are so many false prophets coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I'm a psychic. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm doing that. I can take you and do past life regressions. They've never done it before. Okay, so when you do find someone, which I'm going to talk about when not to talk to your guides and angels anymore, be aware of people who are false prophets. It's not them. It's the people spewing this stuff. Okay? Because the first rule of engagement with me, I am very transparent with how long I've been doing this. I was doing this way, way, way before the pandemic. Okay? Oh my God. So the devil is taking advantage of people. The devil wants us to be enslaved. The devil wants to have his power over us. That's why there's going to be food shortages. That's why people are dying. Whether it's from suicide or and other mental health conditions whether it's from obesity because they're locked in their houses because they're enslaved to be in isolation and now they can't leave their house to exercise because that's what some doctors in the uk are trying to make this out to be he says oh everyone's in their house they're not exercising they're all just dying now of heart attacks because they haven't moved around for six months do you believe that 1300 a week Let's go back to the devil because the devil, he wants us to believe this stuff. He wants us to believe the lies. Okay? It can also carry an aspect of secrecy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Such as secret plans being made, either by yourself or others around you. So this is where you've got to watch out for those false prophets. That's where you watch out and you say, are my friends working in my own higher good? Is it time where I maybe separate from that person for a little while because they've got their own little agenda happening? It doesn't mean you have to give them up. It just means that now you've got to look after yourself for a little while, okay? The surrounding cards would indicate which, okay? So we've got this one. Love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. So this is where we do listen to our own intuition, this is where we listen to our own inner voices. This is where we take that gut instinct and we take it to the next level and we say, right, I've got all these people around me telling me this stuff, but I've got this gut feeling saying, don't do it. You're on the side of the fence because you're still watching this, right? You're on the right side of the fence. Sit there and be proud of yourself today that we're working this out. Okay. There's a little bit more here about the devil. Oh my God, I've got another page too. Let us not forget that prior to being symbolized as an evil figure in religion, the devil was previously identified as the pagan god Pan. Huh. Pan represents primal masculine energy at its most uninhabitable level. Procreative, sexual, untamed and natural instincts that represent the very nature of life itself. Thus, yeah, you wonder why they're trying to take all this away. You wonder why there's all of this sex stuff on the news where they're saying kids can pick their gender. You know, I saw this book the other day. It was in a school and it was teaching men how to be with men. And that was for primary school kids at the school. Oh my gosh. He's trying to work us hard, isn't he? Thus, this card can show a healthy sex life, strong and impulsive urges, lust for life and so on. Because this guy wants us to be materialistic. He doesn't want us to be spiritual. He wants us to look at our material body. He wants us to look at our material gains, our material job. He wants us so involved with materialistic building power of money. 
which is currency, which is frequency, which is energy. I hope I'm making sense to you guys today. But taken to extremes, this behavior can become obsessive or addictive. It can indicate a passionate or compelling relationship with a strong physical attraction, although it does not necessarily imply a healthy one. Surrounding cards will verify. I'm putting that away because I do not want to give this guy energy today by thinking about him. Oh, you have no right, no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. Thank you very much. Um, Let's go on to the beautiful Louise Benton's range. Look at this card. Wow. It's called Spirit of Water. And I'm just going to put it up here and pause if you do want to pause the screen and have a read. Okay. Behold the sublime realms where spirits dwell. Ha! That would also include the devil, right? And also our angels and guides. Transforming, transmuting, stirring Gaia's ancient well. Well, if the devil's not actual, ancient, the angels aren't ancient, then I don't know what else is, right? Okay. Holding a memory of all that has been, awakening hearts to what is unseen. So this is now where the veil is dropping down, guys. We're all coming through this together, okay? Gaia's lifeblood connecting us all. Let the healing begin. Hear her spirit call. So this is fantastic news for us on the right side of the fence because this is saying we are winning this war. Hallelujah! Same life, same blood. There is no separation. We are all part of this divine creation. With love's intention, water transforms and heart's crystalline structure is born. Essence of this sacred life, holder of our ancient rites, reflection of what we hold inside, shows us how to turn the tide. So this is where we go back to our gut. Who are we? We listen to our own self. Because what's been happening over the last two years, this is all new to us. So go past back to two years ago. Who were you back then? Who were you wanting to be? What were your ambitions? What did you inspire to be back then? And make it your reality now. Listen to your messages. Listen to your gut. And trust that they are putting us on that path for a reason. Because this is a doozy of a card showing us that they are trying to make us succumb to what they want and it ain't going to happen in my books okay i transform the world around me with my thoughts and it's true what we think we create the more we put energy into being in isolation wearing our mask being under fear and um, scared to go outside in case you catch a certain miley cyrus with a capital v then we're going to be letting them win. And who really wants this guy to win the war? Huh? Not me. Okay. Let's go over to this ruin stone that I got. Where is he? Here he is. It's this one here. And it's called Spear. Let's read him out because here he is. Uh, put him up back out that way. Oh, he's falling off my page. There he is. The Spear. The Spear. Okay. So it's called the Tiwaz, the spear held by the Norse god of justice. Boom! Chaka chaka. A ruin of victory. Yes! Double chaka chaka. Associated with justice, fairness, and truth. Kaboom! Triple whammy. A signal to stand up for what you believe in as you would likely to succeed. This is where the cards are saying this week, guys, we are winning this war because we are in a spiritual war and we all know what's causing it. Second dot point, take up a cause that you feel strongly about even if the odds are against you. Listen to your messages. 
Listen to your guides and angels. If you're getting these messages to go into holistic healing, go for it. Because the cards are saying we are going to succeed. Okay? Show determination. Now, why do you think I'm here every Sunday doing my tarot? Because I'm determined to give you guys that hope and trust that we are winning this war. Okay? A good sign for romantic relationships and career opportunities. Now remember, romantic relationships does not mean you're going to get a new liaison. Okay? It could be an intimate relationship with your manager. It could be an intimate relationship that you have with your animal, your pet, your child, your parents, where you have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay? You open up, you be raw and show people how you feel, that emotion. Because this is what this guy wants us to lose. He wants us in isolation so we don't talk, so we're not near each other, so our mental health goes cray-cray and ultimately we give up at the most highest form of being able to give up. Last so oh, career opportunities. Of course there's career opportunities coming because if all these people like in the UK are dying, who's doing their jobs? Seriously. My heart bleeds. It totally bleeds when I hear these reports of how many people are dying and getting sick. But at the end of the day, guys, we've got to remember everyone has their own free will. Everyone's got their own decisions because they've all signed up for their own life contracts. And they all have their own life lessons to learn. At the end of the day, we cannot judge. We cannot ever blame others for what they've done because we don't know what they need to learn out of that experience. We never have to even say, what the heck are you thinking? At the end of the day, as long as we look inside our own self and as long as we're saying to ourselves, you know what, I've been doing pretty good. What else can I do to make my life better? What else can I do to make the, my children, my pets, my neighbours, my best friends' lives better? What can I do today to show random acts of kindness to others? What can I do today to lift up my energy where this guy's not going to win the war? Because even all the cards together today show us that we are winning this as long as we stay determined and we keep fighting it. As soon as we lay down our spear, oh, and looky, looky, looky. As soon as we put down our spear and we say, you know what, I'm not going to do this battle anymore. He's going to win. What a great spread today, guys. I hope you got something out of it. Go watch my next video, When Not to Talk to Your Guides or Angels. It'll be coming out in a few hours. Stay tuned. It's going to be a doozy. Love you all, as usual. Stay safe. Stay in love. And I'll talk to you all soon. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.